In this video, we're going to give you a brief overview of the automation screen and what you can do with it. To get started, you want to go to your macros. And then up top in the soft buttons, the third soft button will be view automation. Once in the automation window, you can insert an automation line up top in the soft buttons. And it's going to insert a line with some information in it. This line is, in its simplest explanation, an if this then that argument. So if something like a DMX channel or a MIDI note happens, then we're going to tell it to do something in the desk. So first we're going to make it sure it's enabled. We're going to choose type. And this is the if side. We can do things at scheduled times on a specific date at a specific time. We can do things using MIDI notes and control change commands from MIDI controllers. We can do things based upon the incoming time code from the desk, so we can automate things based on time code. We can use the remote port that's found on the back of most Magic Q desks and wings to trigger things with a switch. We can trigger things based upon a DMX input. We can look at a specific universe or a specific channel and either pull the level or the on off value from that DMX channel. For the desks that have serial ports, we can trigger things based off RS-232 and serial port commands. We can also allow the desk to do things on its own when it starts up or shuts down. In addition to that, we can do things based off of the power state of the console, as most of our desks now have batteries in them. The desk knows whether it's plugged into the wall or not, so you can have it do something like save your show if the power cord gets pulled out before it shuts down while it's still running on battery. We have options here for the scene setter, which is our older style wall plate for installations. You can configure what the faders and buttons on those older style wall plates do through this screen. You can configure custom OSC messages. So MagicQ has default OSC messages programmed into it for the faders, the buttons, and some of the execute screen functions. But if you wanted to do something more complex, you can create custom OSC messages here for the desk to listen to and respond to. This is also where you configure things like trackers, things like OTP trackers for applications in hardware like Black Tracks and other follow spot systems, or trackers in the visualizer if you're tracking viz objects. So for this example, we're going to simply choose a MIDI note. One note about MIDI notes is the only way that you're going to have MIDI notes enabled on a PC system is if you have one of our rack mount dongles installed. That is the only piece of hardware that unlocks MIDI notes on the PC. On the consoles, as long as they have MIDI ports on the back, they will have MIDI notes enabled. So here you see that we've told it if it sees a MIDI note. Here it's going to ask for which MIDI note we would like to use, which channel, and what action it does when the note is triggered. This is very easy to work with, especially in the case of MIDI, because we can use the MIDI Learn option available once you add a MIDI note into the automation screen. Sitting next to me, I have a small MIDI controller with both faders and buttons. It's as simple as configuring the MIDI through your tools menu if you're on a PC, or via the MIDI menu within the desk. Once it's configured and you're seeing notes down in the command line, all you have to do is hit MIDI Learn. Move the fader or push the button that you want to assign to that automation, and you'll see it automatically captured that I have a control change on controller 48 channel 1. After we've assigned the MIDI note, we need to tell the desk what to do with that MIDI note. So in this case, we'll use the function box. And you see we have options to do things like set playback levels, set stack levels, set queue levels, set execute items, levels, and toggle them on and off. We can run macros. We can change the view on the desk. We can send a message to all desks on the network. We can switch zones, change pages, release pages. We can also shut down and reboot the PC if we're on a PC system. In this case, we're going to pick something simple. We're going to tell it to activate, release, and set the level for a given playback. It automatically fills in playback one, but if we needed to, we could Double click F1 here and choose which playback we wanted to use it on. So we'll keep it as playback one. And now you'll see with MIDI Learn turned off and this all filled out, if I push my fader up, it's activating my playback one, which happens to be my stage wash.
In addition to that, you'll also see we have a spot to give a description so we can tell it what we're doing with that particular automation. In this case, I can say FOH wash, just so I know what that's controlling. And also new in version 1.9.0.0, we've added a state field. The state field is gonna tell us the level of the fader and what it's affecting, in this case, Q1, and it's at 82%. The action is similar for any other automations you may want to add. So if we insert another automation, this time we're going to choose something as simple as a scheduled event. P1, P2, P3, parameter 1, 2, and 3 will only be used in some of the types that you choose. For instance, in schedule, we can set the time and the date using P1 and P2. Refer to the manual for a little bit more information on how to input that. But if I wanted something to fire at 11 o'clock every day, you see it says set scheduled time, hours, minutes, and seconds. I can say at 11 o'clock and zero seconds every day. And then we choose our function. We're gonna tell it to send a message. And then in the description, we're gonna tell it to start the show. So this is saying every day at 11 o'clock, send a message to start the show. The automation screen is very powerful. There's a lot of things we can do with it. Some of these are limited by demo mode, so keep that in mind. But once you plug in a piece of Magic U or blue hardware, you'll have access to all of this, again, with the exception of MIDI notes. MIDI notes require the rack mount dongle on a PC. In addition to assigning these lines, the automation screen is also where you'll access your zones and your 10 scene information for the 10 scene wall panels and gateway configuration. That will be covered in a later video. Thank you for watching. As always, you can reach us at www.campsuslighting.com.